This is before and after. it up with electrical tape although I did stop by the glass guy top to our own glasses the guy wanted or the girl wanted 70,000 bucks for new glasses although these are you know these are progressive with the prescription you know by bi standard bifocal kind of thing they're also transition or what is automatic I think in Thai they call it auto or something, which is basically gets turns to sunglasses. You know, UV, scratch, all that. These were really good, made them in America. But I started using them for working out here. I was wearing them for the sun, really. But now the lenses are just so scratched up. But I have my good ones on now, but I always got to remember I got to take these off and actually put them away from the dust uh, before I ruin those. But these aren't sun, they're just they're just regular glasses. So I broke my glasses and I broke my front tooth. Yeah. All I gotta say about that is, well, you should have seen the other guy. My glasses and my tooth in the same day. Bummer. But, you know. Oh! What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? But I have made some uh, progress on my, yeah, I can't fold it now either. Eh. Progress on my um, kitchen, pretty much finished. So, let's go check it out, man. Cleaned up the front here too. Got rid of my tools and stuff. And there it is, kaboom! Pretty cool, huh? What do you think? Let me turn this light on. A little bit more light. So, I gotta, uh, I gotta put the, uh, I'm not gonna use that one thing, or maybe I will, I don't know. Either standard, they give that to you kind of free, you know, and it's not the most stable thing. 
it's gonna, I'm gonna pull that out and that'll go in there. I'm gonna fix that on the bottom. Cabinets very easily, magnetic. I did not uh, paint yet. You know, I didn't tile that. My wife was saying, just paint it, you know. But I did buy a tile for the inside. Oh, I should have tiled it. But anyway, yeah, man. I used brown caulking. They had brown, so I got brown caulking in there. It was not standing out as white. Uh, this just sits in there with under a rubber mount. Although I did put a few spots of caulking to keep it from moving. And uh, yeah, man, I like it. I like it a lot. I do have to do one more thing, which is on the very bottom of these, that's raised about two inches, no, or something like that. Yeah, inch and three quarters. I have, I'm gonna cut another piece of tile and put it on the bottom of those three. Um, remember when I did this, it was a, this building, this whole, this whole building, I mean, everything in here was a remodel top to bottom, right? The only thing that was left standing were these posts. And the posts themselves, uh, although some of them might have been true, many of them weren't. Definitely these weren't. So I kind of built, I tried to build straight to that, but uh, some of the posts are at an angle this way, right? Even though I can, I mean, I didn't want to have to like build way out. So, so I had like here, I had to add this piece on that end, but on that end, it's flush. So, but it doesn't matter. I mean, uh, I think it came out pretty good. You know, I got the nice little corner. I put some, I, I am still gonna put grout in there or silicone. Um, I didn't have professional, you know, tile cutters. I didn't have the big tile cutters where you just go score it and snap it and all that. I used the manufactured edges for here, which were good enough. Uh, but where I had to cut it, where I had to cut pieces, I would, it, you know, it was a rough cut because of the, uh, you know, I'm using my grinder with the, with the tile blade on there. So, you no, know, this was a, uh, a wedge here. Oh, that worked. Try to keep that down. Get that off. Anyway, yeah, man. So the. Uh, the kitchen is, that was the floor and after shot, right? Did that earlier. Anyway, I don't know. Uh, I was hoping that this mic would really pick up a lot better than my normal sound. Cause usually when I'm editing, I have to, um, I always have to, get back in when I'm in the um, when I'm in my Adobe I'm uh, you know I just have to go into the properties and increase the sound on the video or I max it out and sometimes it's still not as loud certainly not as loud as my ZV-1 videos were but no more ZV-1 right Hmm. We've got some lilies in the new pond or in the other pond. I don't know if my wife planted those or what. But those are actually the kind that are usually in a house plant, smaller, smaller uh, vessel. But yeah. Anyway, I'll uh. I'll show you the process of uh, building that kitchen in this video. Hope you like it. Now I gotta go try and get an appointment. See if I can't uh, pick my tooth. I did 
did get out early to the market this morning. I bought me a fish grabber, you know. So we're getting ready to empty the pond. This would be perfect to grab the fish and drop it in there. This is a really good one, man. This thing's like super hard, super strong, and um, you know, it's got a double. This, this, even though this bamboo on the bottom, these strips here, I don't think these are bamboo. I think the guy was saying that I mean, this is like hard. It's like it might very well be the strips of teak wood because uh, that thing is. Hardcore man. I like it. I like it a lot. Well, all right, man. So let me uh, let me get to it. Take a look at my kitchen. Let me know what you think. And now it's just time to do some more cleanup after I get those tiles in there, those little tile pieces. And then uh, it's time to move the furniture in, man. Probably going up to Wang Chow to get some more. You know, accents for in there, something, something, something. All right, guys, get back at you. Thanks for watching. Keep watching. Well, it's time. It's been a couple days. We bust open this. The form. Cleaned it up a little bit and also just just dropped in the stove top and the sink just to make sure that they fit into the holes that I made. And they actually fit, you know, perfectly actually. Perfect. Yeah, you can see that in there, but that lip is like right there. You know, it's right where it should be. Very cool, man, very cool. <laughs> Gas tank's gonna go into there. Of course, I'm just put that in there. I'll take it out now and so I can get ready for the tile. Put the backsplash for the tile, black marble, and then uh, yeah, the tile. There's four pieces in there. Hopefully, that's enough. If not, I'll have to go get some more. All right, man. We are in the day two of the kitchen. The uh, Got the rendering done. Oh, move that light off. And installed the countertop. Still got a little, some little finishing touches. This is no problem because it'll be hidden when you drop in the, drop in the, um, you know, sink and that. Got to tile this today. And the outside, and the back. Do the paint. <clears throat> so hopefully we can finish that today. That'd be nice. <laughs> 